Welcome back to Riftbreaker. My name is Nilaus, and today will be the day where we are ending this. That is the plan. We have unlimited of pretty much all resources, so it's time to build the Rift Station and all the things that he needed to uh, close out the game and see if we can open that Rift Portal back to Earth. Let's see about that. But first, what we're going to do is... Mm, I knew there was something. See, we can get a better minigun. We're absolutely getting a better minigun. Sure. Um, I don't know about this, but let's take... Unequip, oops, unequip and unequip that one. And then I will replace with a better minigun. Yep. And we'll find out what kind of things we can do. We can do more critical. We'll absolutely get 33 damage. Thank you. Percent damage, yes. Uh, damage over time, nah. Don't think that's good. Cluster projectiles. I have no idea what it is, but it's a red one. It's good. So, uh, but I do know what it is, but uh, I don't know exactly how it works. Hit points enabled as healing. Ammo costs, not at all needed. Spread plus. Modifies the spread angle of projectiles fired, but why would I want more? Hmm. Speed. Oh, it's still spread. <laughs> Let's see what else we have here. How to aim. So what's the difference between these different auto aim ones? Hmm. Projectiles per shot. That seems good. Rate of fire. That burns through a lot of Rate of fire here is 102 per second. That's going to burn through some projectiles. We'll take more projectiles per shot, right? That one. Yeah, free free, uh, free extra damage. Let's take that. Equip. Boop. All right. And over on this side, we'll unequip. And we'll unequip this one as well. And we will to remove this. Uh, let's actually just disassemble it. Sure. The minigun. Uh, disassemble it. And we can build another one. Pretty sure we could also build the plasma, right? Yeah, we can. Now that we have the palladium and rhodonite and all that stuff. Good. Let's get some mods in here. Good chance. Damage. There's a 28 damage. We'll take that. And on the second one, we'll see. There should also be a stun one on this one. Cluster should, is probably good. There's always going to be like a million things being attacked. So that's always good. Let's see. I really feel that splash. There's the splash thing. I want that. Let's see if there's something better. I can't have something better than 28 damage. But maybe the cluster thing could be better if we, there's a stun thing. You just let me know if you see a stun. Red ammo costs. Open properties. Okay. All right. Those are the ones we take. Excellent. So that's our two... Oops. Uh, also equip it. It's pretty good. Two primary weapons. We have the other weapons as well. We haven't really tested them too much. Uh, it's one of those things where, I mean, it's nice and all. Uh, we'll also see if we can get a better acid dash. What dash do we want? Which one do we have equipped right now? We have... I don't want the power jump. I'm not so keen on that. Time warp seems... Mm. I think I want the Acid Dash Extreme. Let's take that. Look at how we just have enough of everything. And this is now 125 Acid Damage. It's going to look good. I'll probably be confused by the fact. Uh, any of this? This is a Gravity Mine. Can we get anything better? We have Gravity Grenades. I really like the mines though. And what about this one? Really don't have anything better? Huh. Why have I not upgraded that? I should have. Anyway, that's pretty much where we are we're still researching we still have a few things not researched but not a lot of things we haven't researched yet if we really look at it uh, mainly on this part but uh, that's coming along as well so let's have a look i have tapped every single resource on the map so that is a good start what we will be doing here today is we'll be building a that small piece portal of comet has entered the atmosphere very close to our position it this looks like it's rift station you will be built here now this needs a couple of things. It needs either some water or some super coolant. I think we'll just take the water. The, the comet has a very interesting mineral composition. It has to bring in something valuable. I am tracking its landing location. 6,000 plus 6,000 plus 6,000. So what I am going to do here is maybe a bit weird, but it's I think it's the right way to do it. So when this one completes, we will have to sort of keep it flowing with resources while it's powering up and all that stuff once it, we got all that stuff going. But 
in order for us to do that, then... Oh, hello, Comet. Uh, then... Then we need to keep the flow. And if the flow stops at any one time, then we're, we're dead. Um, then we have to start over. And I'm not going to be starting over on this. So that's why we want to make sure that we can make... Once we start the process, we don't want it interrupted. How do we prevent it from being interrupted? By making sure that we don't need a constant production, but instead, oops, uh, but instead we already have produced all we need and it's just going from a input box. No, okay, not that one. See, I don't intend to protect these, but I intend to actually have them here. Right, so this will be 6,000 plus 6,000 plus 6,000. And you know what? I'm going to just make absolutely sure that we get more than we need here. By making sure that each and every one of these there. So if I can fill up 36,000 of all of it, then I'm absolutely sure I can I can uh, get this going here. Get it, make sure that it's powered. Once it's powered, maybe we get like a notification that we have now built it. Nope. Okay. So here... We have to build these three additional items. Those are the three things we actually researched. Generates and condenses dark matter hyperparticles using an array of palladium core quantum condensers. Wow, there's a lot of fancy words. Construction in progress. Fusion fuel accelerator. Okay, we're going to have to wait some time for the construction to finish. This is a very complex piece of machinery. Next one, it creates a powerful nuclear fusion field that accelerates condensed hyperparticles to faster than light speed. Mm -hmm. Supercharged hyperparticles contained within a controlled magnetic field becomes the fabric of the quantum gate portal. Fusion Sounds good. One one of those as well. In progress. This is going to take some time. Let's focus on other tasks. Quantum gate stabilizer requires to require to stabilize the quantum gate that contains the rift. The actual rift portal. Without this component, quantum gate malfunction may disintegrate the object entering the portal. That's not good. And we'll get rid of those. Oh. So those are the three things, we and then we need to start feeding it. I wouldn't want to get scrambled walking through an unstable rift portal. Oh no, we do not want would that. Anyone want that. No, I guess no one would want that. Uh, I'd like to get was one. That a joke? Yes, uh. it was supposed to. I guess they didn't program that for you. I guess they didn't program that for you either. <laughs> All right. All right. So here we're going to get 400 mud water in. And I think that we have actually a mud water generator not so far away. Let's look at the map. Uh, there. Mud water generator called a... That one. Where's your output, geothermal? Didn't you have an output? Uh, you have an output up there. Your geothermal one. Let's keep upgrading it. So what I want to do is take this one. Hyper particle condenser construction finished. Finally, it's a big milestone towards setting up a stable connection back to Earth. So I think that the, the intention is that you are supposed to be building one and then unlocking the next and then building that and then unlocking the next but that doesn't really make sense to me because there's no point in building it until you actually can use it for something also it's kind of expensive excellent we're one step closer to getting the rift station operation yeah so that should give us mm. okay this is getting mud water in cool and i need four mud water not sure I get that for 400 mud water. Construction finished. That's great news. It wasn't easy to gather there. all that titanium to build it. What? Okay, now it's it's upgrading to level three. Actually, Perfect. We have assembled all of the Rift Station components. We can start preparing the station for the power-up sequence. Walk onto the Rift Station to initiate a complete diagnostics check of all of the station subsystems. <laughs> This is just a precaution in case someone would want to come in and attack us right here. Good. Huh. Why are you not getting anything?
These have water up to 37,000. Okay, step onto the rift station. Um, I don't like we are this one being empty. Water, mud. It's not outputting mud. Must be something down here. Do we have this one? Is this four? No, it's not. Is that because it's still upgrading? You should be producing now. Um, it doesn't look like it's connected, does it? It distinctly looks like there's something wrong with the connection here. Geothermal vent. It should be outputting mud. Why are we not outputting mud then? Maybe that's just disconnected. But it, this one doesn't seem to have any output anymore. Where's the output? Sorry, I'm getting really confused here. I am not getting... Oh, there it is. There is kind of an output there. Okay, let's reestablish that one. And let's see if it works. It doesn't seem to really want to go... Out. Okay, there we go. Mud is coming out. Oh, there seems to be sort of like a flow rate. Really? Is there a flow? Hmm. Water. Local resources. The mud is just not getting there. How is the mud water not getting there? I'm missing something here. Completely missing. Oh, there's the acid. Pipeline output input. It's only inputting 200. Why is it only inputting 200? This one should be outputting 400 Something is clearly not working All right, well, I can't really be taking any chances on this. So I'm also going to take another one Here's another attack Obviously and I'm gonna go down here And let's see where the, that attack is coming in. Coming in over on that side. That side has been sort of a repeated location for attacks. There. Just gonna smash it into that one. And maybe it is working. Maybe it's just me that's kind of assuming something here. But we want to make sure that it goes in here. I don't know. This one, mud 600 inbound. Mud 400 outbound. It might be working. Cool. Up here. These are full, perfect, but the other one is not full. That's not good. Let's see. Uh, all of these locations seem to be actually working okay. We might just top up a bit on some other defenses here. Like that. And... Always just to get a few more. Oh, what about the rocket torch? We also like those. Used to. Used to love those. There we go. And you're still active. Oh, this looks good. Yep. We can always throw a few more. Let's sort a few rocket swords in here. There we go. And what else? We don't have the big ones yet. Plasma torch? Sure. We'll take a few of those. And down here will also be a good attack coming in. Oh yeah, that, I think this one is good. What about you? You seem like the weakest one. Weakest link. Let's get some plasmas out front. Alright, I think this is going to be fine. And 14 seconds to attack. I, we're going to sack. Like, these, thing, these things are going to be just dead. So maybe what we want to do is go down here and try to entice it to go this way. Oops. I could also just do that. Mod, mods, mods, mods. Oh yeah, we can uh, we can add mods to uh, to turrets as well. Let's go to this one. Look, just have a look if we're if, if what we're seeing is in any kind of problems at all. Wow. I don't think these uh, biters have much of a chance here. Let's go to that one and see. 
How are we doing here? Yeah, they're not even getting close to the turret. That's really weird. Wow. That's still so, so weird that it's not even getting close to... Lisa can just take care of all of it, the sentry guns. At least for now. At least for now. Yep, lots of sentry guns. What about... There's nothing is really getting close. Oh! What happened to... We lost a portal thing here. Oh, maybe we didn't lose it, we just didn't have it. Once again, just put things out here. Putting mines and stuff. Yeah. Alright, I think that's actually it in terms of defenses here. Let's take that one. And at this location as well. Okay, but I'm just gonna... I'm gonna build that here. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna want to go through that one. Alright, so that attack was a whole lot of not relevant. Oh, let's go back to this location here. All right, so what we're missing is supercharged plasma. That one. So how do we make that? We make that in a plasma generator thing. Let's clear that mushroom out. Let's see how we make that. Uh, let's see. That was over here. It was an ionizer that makes plasma from titanium or a super coolant. Nope. Or a plasma converter that takes plasma and make it into supercharged plasma. And this can't be up, oh, it can be upgraded to level three. That means 75, okay. So one, two, three, four. That's gonna be 300 per second. So that seems good. That one. And we're gonna, we're gonna get some plasma. And if only we had like a place nearby that just made all the plasma we could ever dream of. If only... Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, hold on. How do we get there? It has to come from up here. Uh, that means it has to come through some of that crap here. Um, This is not an important place, place, is it? We don't need that. Here. You also have this. Uh, this is actually... Do you want plasma or do I want the super chest plasma? I actually want the... Let's take this out. This is... It was a little test we did. Interesting that it failed. Uh, let's go over here. Oops. And... So, this... The fact that we have these long lines is also one of the th reasons why it's so important to... Oh. Huh. Why, why it's important to keep keep this one flowing? Because what if this pipe gets intersect, uh, gets interrupted? If the pipe is interrupted, yeah, we're not going to be making it. Oh! Oh, I had to go in here, yeah. Ashley, in the meantime, please verify the list of resources that are necessary to begin the Rift Station charge-up procedure. Accumulate. Deliver okay, supercharged so plasma. We yep. are going to need accumulate primary ingredients to energy the portal. A starting charge that's going to initiate the sequence. A stable flow of supercharged plasma for the rift gate, and coolant to stabilize the station during the process. This shouldn't be that difficult with the infrastructure we already have in place. Deliver water. Deliver supercharged plasma. We are going to need to make sure that we have more supercharged plasma. At this point, we only have twelve thousand. Diagnostics complete. Portal gate structure check. Okay. Power couplings check. Okay. Check check. Fusion field accelerator plasma punch check. I think we'll make a new... Okay. Hyperparticle condenser capacitor flux. Okay. Okay. Quantum gate stabilizer magnetron check. Error. Magnetic Oops. field unstable. And we'll remove this one. That's not good. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I love that. Oh no. This planet's magnetic field is not behaving in a normal way. We won't be able to get off the planet if we don't stabilize the magnetic field around the rift station. We can well. stabilize the magnetic field by constructing additional magnetic field stabilizers around the rift station. 
And so it's Yes, we can do that, but this complicates the process significantly. Magnetic stabilizers require a lot of resources to be built. They use a lot of energy themselves. They require cooling. Oh, no, 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 and we will no, no, no. have to place them around the portal, but not too close to each other. <sighs> okay, easy. <laughs> expand our external mining outposts to speed up the process of gathering resources. I think we're good. Also use the orbital scanner to search for new resource rich locations. I think we're good. Uh we'll just put in some things here. The buildings around the rift station to make all of this possible. Well, as someone once said, what is that? We're not doing this because it's easy, but because it's hard. Let's get to work then. Yeah, that's plasma towers and we got the rocket towers. Let's get some laser towers in here. And let's get some of the good ones here. And let's get some... Did, there must be something we've forgotten, right? Real gun towers? Sure, we'll take some real gun towers as well. That's a nice smattering of power here. And we'll just a little dash of... Uh, Repair and repair. Also here. Uh, this one seems to be missing some some of the big ones. Uh, some of the artillery. But it also should get some of the good artillery. Wind is picking up again. Power generation is back to normal. There. Because why not? We have it, right? We have it. And I just need to lead, lead it out from this location. Oh, I can't get past that one. Uh, okay, so all of you have to be moved over just a tad. That's my converter. Yeah. So let's see what the next part of the mission will be. And uh, let me just check. It's not, it is going to be connected. That's not what I want. And that means we have to take that one out, right? It should still be working. And that one as well. Nope, it's connecting. Why is it connecting? Because I did not remove this. There. Up here. There. So we get some plasma for these. Strengthening that defense. What is the state of the nation here? 35,000? Yep, so that's pretty much maxed out. Excellent. And everything is now done. Okay. Magnetic stabilizers nearby. And then we also accumulate. We also need to accumulate some power. I don't think that's a problem. We have quite a bit of power. So the only thing we seem to be missing is a bit of these magnetic stabilizer rift thingies. Oh, you need some... What? You need some coolant? Uh. Or some water. All right. Mm. Okay. Water is coming there. So let's uh, build it here. And then I'd like to build it. Oh, you can actually build it. We can build it like this, right? They have to build like next to each other, but not too close. There. Yeah. And then I have to build one over here as well, somehow. This one getting power is actually, or water, is going to be the difficult one. Yeah. That's actually the impossible one, I think. Because now I can't get this one in because I just don't have enough space. Uh, that means the whole thing has to be moved a bit over again. Good thing we're planning things right. That one. So I need to make... Come on, click. This one has to be able to get water into here. Yeah, hold on. That one can't be built at that location because I can't get the water. If I get the water here, then it connects. So I have to get the water like that. Like this, the water to this location. I don't know if that's probably the input. Yep. And then I need to get this line down here to leach. And then the plasma converter is what we have here. That can be one, two, three, four. Back to four. Good. and they are not connected. So 
so that means the last of the rift stations should then be built at this location. We have a rift station here that has water. We are going to need another rift station up here that also needs water. I'm sure that you could build a crisper output for this. But the point here is water, it's fine. The fact that we also have here, how much water does this take? This takes Magnetic Rift Stabilizer takes 25 water. Okay, so that's 100 water in total from that. We don't know how much this is going to be eating of water. 100 water, so it's going to have a constant consumption of 200 water. This one is producing 1, 2, 3, 400. Plus, we have a large storage. This is consuming 50 supercharged, and each of these produce... I don't know how much they produce, but we'll see that in a second. I think it was 75. That's not it. That one. Plasma converter. Here. It consumes 100 plasma and produces 20, 75. So that's 300 plasma produced and 100... Oh, sorry. 50 consumed. That's also good. Plus another 50 consumed for these two up here. So that's also good. All right. I'm just making sure that we don't have any any issues. And we are consuming 400 plasma. And I don't think that's a problem either. 400 plasma. This is producing 800 plasma. Yeah, we have a lot of plasma. Oops. We even have more. Magnetic stabilizers are in place and operational. There. I am rerunning diagnostics on the quantum gate stabilizer. That's All it. Systems check. Magnetic field stabilized. Quantum magnetron operational. Good. So that's, that's great. stuff. We can move forward with the rest of the preparations. Uh, what do Ashley, we absolutely we want? Have finished all of the necessary preparations for the Rift Station power sequence. It wasn't easy, but we're there. It's hard to believe that we're finally approaching the moment of powering up the Rift. Uh, oh, by the way, once we start the power sequence, it is going to need some time to finish. We will have to maintain a stable flow of all of the required resources during that time. The and starting charge is only enough to initiate the Rift Station power-up sequence. The energy consumption of the station is going to be extremely high during the entire process. Please I have 28,000. Sure our energy grid can handle that strain before starting 10K? the procedure. Sure. So it's consuming 10k, but I have 28k. Build up additional reserves of supercharged plasma and coolant in liquid storage. Already done. If the Already rift done. station power-up sequence is interrupted, then we will have to cool off the station and restart the entire process. And I'm not doing that. <laughs> so we'll have to do it. Plus, of course, the stuff that they're not saying. An enormous amount of high-frequency energy waves. We've already aggravated the local fauna with our actions. These emissions will be going out in a very large radius. So they will alarm all of the potentially aggressive creatures within kilometers of our base. We have to prepare for the strongest attack that we've ever seen. We have to make sure that our base is secure from all directions. Good stuff. How do we do that? Well, all directions. We don't know if they were actually being attacked from all directions. But we have to kind of prepare for it, right? And this is going to be our final battle on Galatea 37. Let's make sure that we are ready before we push the button. 600 additional, so we can just absolutely spam. Oh, we got a bit. What? What the happened? Has hit the ground. Ashley, That's a bad idea. That what the hell happened? How the hell did that happen? Does that mean that this is actually was getting power from up here? Uh, yeah, it looks like it was getting power sort of backwards. Instead of getting it from the main base, it got it through this direction. That's not great. Alright, so there is a... At least at the last time I tried this, there is a um, problem with the last fight. And the problem is that it... <sighs> um, if an electrical network gets disconnected. I don't know if it's been fixed, we'll see that. If an electrical network gets uh, disconnected, it will s seems to be needing to recalculate the electronic the electric network and that's something that takes time, which means there will be lags, which means that something coming in from this side will break an electric network, which obviously will happen, that's just how it is. 
And then the whole thing will lag for a second because it recalculates what is powered, what is not powered. And I wish I could do something about it, but I don't think I can. It's just the way it is. I can, of course, make sure that I have only one electric network. Or I can make sure that it does not get disconnected by making sort of additional connections. But I, I don't think I can actually do... I cannot prevent it from happening, but it's just... I'll do my best, like what I'm doing now, just adding extra connections between things. So that if one thing gets connected, disconnected, then we always have something else. Now, am I going to... I'm not going to be defending all positions, but I have some positions out here that are good. And we'll see where the attack comes in and then we'll be attacking, be uh, defending those locations. For example, this one might be a location where... Ah, let's, let's just build a little defense here, right? It's not a big deal. We have the power, we have the technology. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's get some minigun towers here. And let's get some other things like the railgun towers. Oops. And let's also get some of these mine layers things. They are they seem to like being in the front row. There. And let's get some repair packs. And let's get some of the other ones. What was this one? Plasma towers. Let's also get rockets. I like the rockets. Why did they get replaced? Hmm. Did not want that. And lasers as well. Let's get some lasers. And let's get some rail guns. Only thing remaining is the good ones, the ones that actually make sure that this will be a point of attack. There we go. And we have everything else. Yeah. So that's just done. Uh, that's protected. This part is not protected, which kind of could be a thing. I could just drag a line like this. That is like the easiest thing to defend. Yeah, then some laser turrets and then some railgun turrets in the mean in between and that was not it and then some rocket turrets just get a lot of different things right and one of these and one of these oops they're replaced damn it uh i don't think we have railgun turrets and we don't have some Artillery turrets as well. See? That's pretty good. And then also just make sure that if something accidentally gets in here. We can do a lot of this. But let's go back and activate Mech Fusion Core Standard. We don't know what that is. That's a new research. Research completed. We have high caliber explosives, corrosive, mech core. How are we doing on... We have two hours of research. I don't think we need technically anything right now. Advanced magnetic stabilizers. Different approach to the problem of stabilizing the rift station. This building emulates the behavioral properties of the magnetic boulders with... Oh, interesting. What does it do again? Wow, that's... Okay, we probably should have taken that. Oh, well. Next time. All right, let me uh, go in here and I'll be ready to activate. So as we do that, then uh, as I activating this, you can... Uh... <laughs> don't, don't deconstruct. Please, let me just make absolutely sure. There. Okay, then we can do this. So as we do this, you can hit the like button because this is almost at the end. We're going to have a massive attack coming in. So let's uh, see how that goes. Station power sequence initiated. The energy flux is creating intense electromagnetic waves. I am detecting minor gravitational field disturbances. Get more attacks in. This is like the first place to get attacked. And here they go. Oh, let's uh, let's just help out a bit. So this is one of those where the attack is not actually that big. The main problem will be. Um, Actually, our ammo, but since we have 6,000 ammo stores, I think we're going to be fine. I'm not sure if I'm stressing more about the battle or by opening the connection to Earth. We've been here for so long. Okay, next attack. Every day fighting for survival. We are prepared for the battle. I know we are. Okay, let's strengthen this defense uh, by just adding more turrets. And then more walls.
here. And let's get some more turrets back here as well. Oh, then something is getting attacked that isn't really prepared for attacks here. This is not a place you're supposed to be attacking. You're supposed to be attacking up. Oh, there comes the next one. Oh, there's also an attack down here. Uh, let's review if this is, seems to be okay. I think this has double walls, so this is okay. Let's review this one then. And this is where I built the door. Let's just get more of these. I love the artillery ones. They're the best ones. Because they're the ones that make sure that they don't get too close. Alright, we'll just pitch it. Might be a bit loud. Okay, that was that one. Coming into the second one. Do we think this one looks good? Yeah, this is the one we just forced. Let's put some minigun turrets here as well. Uh, I don't think we can actually get out there. They, they won't be walking on mud. Only the head runners can do that. Okay. And we're up to 31 on the rift thing. Whoa, power is not great. How is the power just not great? Uh, let's uh, kill some power here. Oh my god, this might actually be failing. And uh, we'll disable all of that. Hurry. That's power network disconnected. Delete that. Wow. Performance, thank you very much. This is on my 3080 Ti. <clears throat> oh, that's not a good place they're coming in. Oh, I can't move! I can't move! I guess we were made have been overdoing it a bit on the... Oh, come on. Let's do some there. Some of these. And some of this, and then some more. Now I can't even get out myself. Oops. Look at that. That's the problem. Can I get out now? Here we go. Thank you. Okay, we kind of saved this one, despite it not uh, being a dedicated defense location. This one. How is our power just so bad? I don't get how our power is so bad suddenly. It doesn't make any sense that our power got just turned out so bad suddenly. Uh, okay, but um, that makes no sense for me. But, you know, there's a there's a way we can do that. Come on, build more. Okay, we'll build these two. And let's go over here. We don't really want the power to run out here. Why is the power running out so much? I am blown away by... It must be the all of my defenses that are taking so much power. Uh, what could we take out that would use our power? Might be the ammo factories, for example. Oh, anyway. I think that this is almost the end of the attack. Oh, wow. Oh, we're having the wrong weapon. I think that's the end of the big attack. So, I don't understand why the power went so bad suddenly. Well, here's some damage down there. I just don't understand it. We were looking at it and uh, this one dropped. It's probably the defensive towers that I might have been the, made a few too many of. Anyway... I hope we're still going to be good. It's kind of problematic, maybe. Big ones here. Let's drag them into the defensive line here. Usually we'll take the... Oh, yes, not construction. Okay, and we have some issues back here. It's okay that we lose something here once in a while or a few things. This is the last fight, so ultimately, it doesn't matter.
Oh, still something. A few minor ones. All right, we're at 74. I have no idea what's going on with the power, though. How did the power just spike so much? Well, I guess we are um, going to be uh, busy trying to get more power. Are these working? Oh, they're, they're still 26 minutes. 26 seconds away. Once they're there, then I think actually we'll be good. It, we better be, right? I took out all of this part. And our frame rate is tanking. I don't know what the frame rate is, but this seems to be slowing down the game. All right. Looks like we managed to hold off all attacks. It would be nice to see if this is one electric network or if there's two. Uh, we're down to that one. 15,000. With these two being done in 10 seconds, we should be okay. I hope. Uh, anything else that we could do? Uh, we could do just more of those. I don't think it'll come back in time. It's the cobalt? Okay. So let's see. Why are you not... Is it water issues or what? Are we having water issues? Seriously? Don't tell me this was something like water issues, right? And then another mud thing here. Uh, you know what? I I don't care about this location anymore. I want you to go up here and... I don't want it to fail, I don't want it to fail, I don't want it to fail. That one. Yeah, get more water in, if that's the thing that was holding us up. Okay, power is now plus 10. Whew. I suppose it could be the fact that it's the ammo turrets, right? Or ammo factories, let's see how much they're taking. They take 160 and that they'll all be switching on. That's really weird. Uh, we do have some issues here. Did I misplace them somehow? There we go. Why is there a local power grid? Doesn't seem right. We made it. One, two, three, four, five, I six. Believe that this moment is finally here. That takes all of that. We are receiving signals from the Earth. Quantum entanglement with the station back on Earth is confirmed. You have to manually insert your personal rift One, synchronization two, three, four, five, six. to confirm the procedure from our side before the rift portal can be opened. So, the connection to Earth is going to collapse in 1 minute and 30 seconds. So diverse life on this planet. We've been here for so long, but have we studied the ecosystem enough to start colonizing the planet? Studied, and by study we mean, have we slaughtered everything enough? Uh, this one's a Mark, now this needs to be the Mark 3 pump. That was the one that was missing. I'm going to kill that one. Studying the ecosystem is not a priority. Your quantum synchronization core is paired with an identical object back on Earth. The pairing is fragile. If we don't finalize the connection now, the quantum entanglement is going to collapse and destroy the rift synchronization core. If we don't go now, there is no guarantee that we'll ever be able to return to Earth. Right, so what... Um we do have the option of going back or staying and uh, in my twitch stream i went back and uh, so i think we'll be staying here there are still uh, biters to slay on uh, this planet so i think that will be uh, a really good we'll just let this one collapse and then not go there and then stick around on this planet because there's more things to research yes we still need to research some things right yeah but that's okay that's okay we're fine. We'll, st we'll stick around here. All right, so final defense. We saw a lot of latency, a lot of lag, which I'm not super enthusiastic about. <laughs> Look at our power. <laughs> oh, it's 800 soul wind energy. Is that because we have like an iron storm? Yeah. 800% wind energy. Yeah, we got enough power right now. I don't know what was going wrong on that. Yeah, 17 seconds. We'll stick around and then not go in there. 
step into the rift station or stick around. We'll stay. So that is probably going to conclude the uh, the rift breaker campaign for me. But I'd like to do some more tutorials. So if you have some ideas about what we could do tutorials for, please let me know in the comment section because uh, I might I have some ideas, but maybe your ideas are better. So share them if you want. Rift power procedure has overloaded the quantum synchronization core. Ashley, the portal is destroyed. Yeah. You will not be able to open the rift to Earth without that core. Oh, let's build another one. Why didn't you finish the procedure? Well? Answer? Oh. Oh. Nice. Opening the portal would only lead to the destruction of this planet. The creatures that we've been fighting were only trying to protect their home. Humanity is just like these creatures. It's an apex predator trying to survive by devouring other species, constantly expanding its territory. We can't stop humanity from colonizing this planet, but we can take more time to study it, to learn how to preserve as much as we can and how to coexist. They will send someone else to complete this task. I'm counting on it. Hmm. Hmm. The the wanton destruction of everything that moved and also things that didn't move does not go well with the hippie attitude of, oh, we need to research. Uh, the only thing we did the research was just to, to get more power to fuel more uh, explosives to kill them faster. Yeah. Uh, I, I love this game. Absolutely do. It's been super fun and it has an amazing gameplay. I don't understand why they chose a uh, a space hippie approach for for our main character. Uh, that was like, yeah, let's let's go more with the. You can either do the slave corporate slave like uh, Icarus Satisfactory or the, hey, we're just here to survive engineer from Factorio. But but the whole look at this picture. Like oh no, we need to uh, research and explore the. <laughs> I don't know. Is is it just me who thinks that's so. <laughs> dis uh, dis disassociated yeah, disconnected from the uh, from 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 the gameplay the story and the gameplay seems so disconnected oh let's research yeah <laughs> but I, I loved it I uh, I think it's been super amazing to play this game and uh, I've had an absolute blast playing it so if you want to be um, if you want more, then uh, let me know with some tutorials, that kind of thing. I don't think I'm going to be playing the survival. I feel that the survival game doesn't really have uh, as much depth to it. But I'm already starting on other games here on the channel, such as uh, Satisfactory and Darkest Dungeon. So they will probably be the ones that uh, give the most, uh, most priority right now. And of course, always looking for new and exciting games. So this has been an absolute blast to play. And I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. So thank you everyone for following along to the very end. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you'll be following some other Let's Plays or tutorials here on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care and as always, stay effective.